In Chem 150, you learned about oxidation states of atoms and ions. These are the numerical hypothetical charges on atoms if all their bonds were completely ionic. These are useful in many contexts, and we'll return to them late in the semester when we discuss transition metal complexes. But for carbon-based molecules, we use a related concept called the oxidation level to characterize carbon atoms. The oxidation level of a particular carbon atom is determined by the number of bonds to more electronegative atoms or pi bonds to other carbon atoms. And to avoid confusing oxidation state, which is a number, with oxidation level, we give names rather than numbers to the various oxidation levels. A carbon with four bonds to electronegative atoms, like in CO2, is said to be at the carbon dioxide oxidation level. A carbon with three bonds to electronegative atoms is at the carboxylic acid oxidation level. With two bonds to electronegative atoms, a carbon is at the aldehyde oxidation level. With only one bond to an electronegative atom, a carbon is at the alcohol oxidation level. And carbons without any bonds to electronegative atoms are said to be at the alkane oxidation level. Functional groups at the same oxidation level have many things in common, and often react in similar patterns. You've seen this with the reactions of carboxylic acid derivatives, acid chlorides, esters, carboxylic acids, and amides, which all undergo nucleophilic acyl substitution, and often react twice with strong nucleophiles like lithium aluminum hydride. Other functional groups that fit at this oxidation level include nitriles and trihalides. The carbon dioxide oxidation level doesn't come up much in most organic chemistry classes, but chloroformates, carbonates, and ureas all fall in this category. At the aldehyde oxidation level are, of course, aldehydes and ketones, as well as hydrates, hemiacetals, and acetals. In addition, functional groups called imines and enols, neither of which you've encountered yet, fall into this category. Alkynes, because they contain carbons with two pi bonds to other carbons, are also in this group. The alcohol oxidation level includes alcohols and thiols, ethers and thioethers, amines, and alkyl halides. We generally also include alkenes in this list because they have carbon atoms with one pi bond to another carbon. The alkane oxidation level only contains alkanes, carbons with four sigma bonds to either carbon or hydrogen. Of course, this list isn't comprehensive. There are an almost infinite number of ways the common elements can be arranged in organic molecules, but this covers the most common functional groups that you'll encounter.